and take the hymn A65 I place my hand in your hand came to save so I'll follow you I place my hand in your hand and joyously I walk along with you oh Lord I place my hand in your hand and joyously I walk In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, today's liturgy invites us to relook, to revisit these three traditional practices of Christian life prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. Jesus is inviting us to see the intention behind the action. For the times we may have done things to please others, the motivation was purely external factors. Let us be sorry for being showy in our life, wherein we have concentrated on the external show rather than internal glow. Let us be sorry and together say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all, all the angels, angels and saints, and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for, for me to the Lord, the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Today, we keep the memorial of Saint Aloysius Gonzaga. He was a selfless person, patron of youngsters and students. We have with us students who are doing their spiritual enrichment program in the center. Let us pray for them. I offer this mass for the soul of Julio. Let us pray that our brother enjoy heavenly bliss and also put forth our prayers and petitions in this Mass. O God, giver of heavenly gifts, who in Saint Aloysius Gonzaga joined penitence to a wonderful innocence of life, Grant to his merits and intercession that though he have failed to follow him in innocence, we may imitate him in penitence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. God loves a cheerful giver. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, whoever sows sparingly 
will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each one must give as he has decided in his heart, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound to him, you, so that having all sufficiency in all things at all times, you may abound in every good work. As it is written, he has distributed freely, he has given to the poor, his righteousness endures forever. He who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed for sowing and increase the harvest of your righteousness. You will be enriched in every way to be generous in every way, which through us will produce thanksgiving to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your, your response, bless the man who fears the Lord. Bless, the, bless man. the man who fears the Lord. Bless the man who fears the Lord, who takes great delight in his commandments. His descendants shall be powerful on earth. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Your response, bless, bless the, the man who, who fears, fears the, Lord. the Lord. Riches and wealth are in his house. His justice stands firm forever. The light rises in the darkness for the upright. He is generous, merciful, and just. Your response. Bless, Bless the, the man, man who fears, fears the Lord. One open-handed, he, he gives to the poor. His justice stands firm forever. His might shall exalt in glory. Your response. Bless the man who fears the Lord. Kindly stand for the gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of practicing your righteousness before other people in order to be seen by them. For then you will have no reward from your Father who is in heaven. Thus when you give to a needy, sound no trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may be praised by others. Truly I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing so that your giving may be in secret. And your father who sees in secret will reward you. And when you pray, you must not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street's corners, that they may be seen by others. Truly, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your father who is in secret. And your father who sees in secret will reward you. And when you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their face and their fasting may be seen 
by others. Truly, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, that your fasting may be seen by others, but by your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, in the introduction, I had said that today we reflect on the three traditional practices of Christian life. One is prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. And if you, this, if you see these three activities, three things, prayer is a relationship with God. Fasting would mean relationship with yourself. And almsgiving, doing charity, relationship with your neighbor. And these are the three pillars. You can say like a three tires. A vehicle will have three tires, maybe auto rickshaw. You cannot say I require only two tires, two wheels. I can manage without one. No. So everything, all these three aspects, prayer, fasting, and almsgiving, helping others is important. They are interconnected. You cannot say, I will only do almsgiving. I will only do charity. Then you are not connected with God. I will only do prayer. I will not go out, do almsgiving. Do then you are not connected with the neighbor. Fasting, when you are not connected with yourself, then you cannot connect with others. Everything will be on the periphery. Maybe you know, just an external show. And that's why you see, my dear friends, in the gospel, how many times you heard to show people, the exact word be by, seen by people. Ask yourself, as human beings, you know, we all have motivation, external motivation. I do things because I have to be accepted by others. I have to be seen by others. This is very normal human motivation, wherein... I do things because I want to be seen, appreciated by others. But we need to grow today from this infantile motivation. And Christ says, do things because you are convinced or because you and Father have a link. You do things because God sees you. You do things because it is your duty. Maybe prayer, maybe fasting, maybe almsgiving. So that is the reason, my friends, ask today, what is the intention behind your action? Every action has an intention, and intention qualifies the action. You know, I do things, what is my intention? To be praised by others, to be seen by others. If people don't appreciate me, I get totally demotivated, I stop doing things. Ask yourself, it is also for me. What exactly I want in my life? What are my actions all pointing to? Are they pointing to God or to myself? And the basic purpose, let us come to this basic catechism. Why we are created? If you do any action, whatever action you perform, you pray, you fast, you give charity, ask yourself, is this action pointing, bringing me closer to God, the basic catechism, God has created me to know Him, to love Him, to serve Him and to be with Him forever in the next. So ask yourself, is my prayer life allowing me to know God more and more? If not, today we need to introspect how we can change our prayer life, the way we see prayer, the way we do prayer. Is my fasting allowing me to love God? And when I love God, automatically it will have a repercussion. I will love myself. Is my almsgiving charity that I do really help me to serve God? Anything in life, whatever you do, you ask these things. Is this action 
are my words are my deeds allowing to me know allowing me to know god to love god and to serve god finally i would say let us not you know be concerned about our external show what people think that is not a christian way of living that is a worldly way of living and sermon on the mount is a radical way of thinking it is not a normal way of thinking it is not normal for me to do something without having external motivation it's not normal but jesus is saying create a internal driver within you wherein you are self motivated to pray wherein you are self motivated to fast wherein you are self motivated to give alms you don't require external motivation external stimuli external drivers to drive you the word fasting has a deep meaning in indian context the sanskrit word is upvasa in konkani we say upas up means near vasa means stay so in a way upvasa whenever you do fasting any kind of fasting you need to be upvasa stay near the lord ask yourself anything you do is it to stay near the lord or to get appreciation from the world as i said all of us have this basic tendency to show others today god is asking us to take a u turn and this eucharistic celebration is a beautiful thing that we can ask from the lord to change our hearts from external motivation change our hearts to internal motivation to do any action that bring us closer to the lord let us pray for this and this eucharistic celebration for the preparation of the gifts we shall take the hymn b36 abba father Pray, brethren, that mine and your sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and for the good of all His holy church. Grant us, O Lord, that by the example of Saint Aloysius, we may take our place at the heavenly banquet, clothed always in our wedding garment. so that by participating in this mystery we may possess the riches of your grace through Christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is, it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through Christ our Lord his death we celebrate in love his resurrection we confess with living faith and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope and so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim holy holy holy, holy lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Philip Neri, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Aloysius Gonzaga, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us together, as one community, say the prayer that Jesus himself has taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done. Be done. On earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily, daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. Deliver us Lord we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy. We may be always free from sin. And safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, 
Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called for the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer By Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into myself. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. As we receive Jesus into our hearts, we shall take the hymn D111, When the Kindness of Our God. Let us pray. Bring us who have been fed with the food of angels, O Lord, to serve you in purity of life and following the example of Saint Aloysius, whom we honor today. May we preserve, persevere in constant thanksgiving through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear friends, as you know, today we have with us uh, the students, the SSC students of Rosary High School or Red Rosary High School, Bamboli. Yesterday they came here, today they will finish. Tomorrow we will have another batch of uh, SSC students of the same school. I am thankful to Miss Alice, the headmistress who accompanies them. She has done the first reading today. She is Miss Alice. She takes a lot of interest to see that the students grow not only in academics, but also spiritually. I'm grateful and thankful to Miss Alice and the entire staff, uh, staff who takes interest in this spiritual enrichment program.
the Lord be with you. And with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the masses ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. For the recessional hymn, we shall take T35, Holy Virgin by God's degree. 